All right, let's revise some waves with some quick fire question flashcards. Starting off with some questions that are good for GCSE and A level. Here we go. One, what do waves transfer and what do they not transfer? Waves transfer energy, but don't transfer matter. Two, what is the difference between longitudinal and transverse waves? Longitudinal waves, the particles oscillate parallel to the direction of energy transfer. Transverse waves, the particles oscillate perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer. Three, for a longitudinal wave, what is the opposite of a compression? It's a rarefaction. Four, what is the order of the EM spectrum starting with longest wavelength? It's radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays. Five, which one has the highest frequency and carries the most energy? Gamma rays. Six, what is frequency? It's the number of complete waves that pass a point every second. The symbol is F and the unit is Hertz. Seven, what is time period and how can it be used to find frequency? It's the time it takes for one complete wave to pass a point. Eight, what is wavelength? It's the length of one complete wave, which is the same as the distance between two adjacent peaks. Symbol is lambda and the unit is meters. Nine, what is amplitude? It's the maximum displacement from equilibrium. That's from the midpoint to the peak. 10, what is the wave equation? It's V equals F lambda. That's wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. You might see it as C equals F lambda. 11, what is the wavelength of this stationary wave? It's two meters because we only have half a wavelength on the string. 12. What do you change to make a sound louder? You increase the amplitude. 13. What happens to frequency and wavelength for a sound to be a higher pitch? You increase the frequency and decrease the wavelength. 14. What two things happen to a light wave when it enters a medium with a higher refractive index? It slows down and it bends towards the normal. 15. What are the two equations to calculate refractive index? Refractive index is the speed of light in air or a vacuum divided by the speed of light in the medium or we can do sine i over sine r, where i is the angle of incidence, r is the angle of refraction. That's probably it for just GCSE questions. Let's go on to some A-level only questions. 16. How do polarizing glasses reduce glare from the road? They absorb light that has been polarized when it's reflected off the ground. 17. How out of phase are a peak and a trough on a wave in radians? pi radians, it's half a complete wave. 18, how do you calculate phase difference using separation or time difference? It's the separation delta D divided by the whole wavelength or difference in time divided by the time period. In other words, the bit divided by the whole lot. And then you can times by two pi to turn it into radians. 19, what is the difference between a progressive wave and a stationary wave? Progressive waves transfer energy, stationary waves do not. 20, what happens when two waves meet? They interfere or superpose. Their displacements sum at all points. 21. How is a stationary wave formed? When two waves with the same frequency travel in opposite directions and interfere with each other. 22. What happens at a node? We have just destructive interference. Amplitude is zero. 23. What is formed at a fixed end of a piece of string or a closed end of a pipe? At a fixed or closed end, we have a node and at a free and an open end, we have an antinode. And the opposite, we have an antinode at a free or an open end. 24, how out of phase are two points on the opposite side of a stationary wave? Always pi radians, doesn't matter where they are. If they're on the same side, it's always zero. 25, what are the two conditions needed for total internal reflection or TIR? The angle of incidence has to be greater than the critical angle and light has to be in the medium with the higher refractive index. 26, how do you find the critical angle? Taking Snell's law, we make theta two 90 degrees and then we wanna find theta one, and we call that theta C then, the critical angle. 27, why do optic fibers need to be thin? It's to reduce the effect of multi-path dispersion. That's when light takes multiple routes, resulting in pulse broadening because the light rays take different times to get to the end. 28, why does white light split into a spectrum if passed through a triangular prism? It's because different wavelengths have different refractive indexes or indices. Blue light has a high refractive index, so it refracts more than red. 29, what is the only thing that stays constant when light refracts? It's the frequency. 30, why did Young have a single slit before the double slit? It's to ensure that the light coming from the double slit was coherent. 31, what is the path difference equal to for the first fringe in a diffraction pattern and what happens there? The path difference is equal to one wavelength and the waves interfere constructively making a bright fringe. 32, what diffracts more, blue or red light? It's red light, generally. 33, how is a single slit diffraction pattern different from a double slit? 
The central maximum is twice the width of the subsequent fringes and the intensity decreases greatly with distance. 34. What do you see if you shine white light through a slit or a double slit? The fringes have a spectrum. They have a blue edge on the inside and a red edge on the outside because red diffracts more. 35. What three things can you do to increase the fringe spacing W? You can increase the slit screen distance, that's big D, increase lambda and decrease the slit separation. 36. What is the order of magnitude for wavelength of visible light? It's 10 to the minus 7 meters or hundreds of nanometers. 37. The diffraction grating equation is n lambda equals d sine theta, but how do you find d from lines per millimeter? You convert to lines per meter first by times it by a thousand, then find the reciprocal, that's 1 divided by it. 38. How do you find the maximum number of orders, n, that can be produced by a grating? You make theta 90 degrees, so sine theta is equal to 1, and that means that n lambda equals d, then round down to the next lowest whole number. 39. What is the definition of coherent? It's when light has a constant phase difference. That's a proper definition, but all it means really is all the light is in phase. Number 40, why is laser light used for optic fibers? It's because it's monochromatic, which means it's only one wavelength, and we can send several different wavelengths down the optic fiber to get more information down there. We call that multiplexing. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, leave a like, and if you wanna see a mind map with all of these ideas on, then click on the card, and it'll take you there to my quick physics waves in six minutes video.